Stray cats in Chicopee are keeping one local animal shelter busy. Western Mass News reporter Matt Price shows us what's being done to address the problem. Around 30 cats are currently being cared for at Thomas J. O'Connor Animal Control and Adoption Center. Most of them are strays, and many of them are from the Chicopee area. We want to make sure that cats that need our assistance get into the shelter, but we want to respect cats that are indoor-outdoor cats too, and it can be a really fine balance. TJO Acting Executive Director Heather Cahillane tells Western Mass News the shelter has lately been an advocate for indoor cats because of all the bad things that could happen if they wander off outdoors, such as getting hit by a vehicle or attacked by other animals. There have even been injured cats that had to be in quarantine for up to four months in case they had rabies or other infections. But in case anyone has an outdoor cat or sees one gone astray, there are some things that should be done ahead of time. Make sure it's wearing that breakaway collar. Make sure there's some kind of sign of ownership so that we can work with you to also make sure your cat is safe. And if it ends up here that we're getting in touch with you either through your microchip, your collar. And of course, make sure the cats are spayed, neutered and vaccinated. T.J. O'Connor is not the only place that deals with stray cats. We also spoke with Robin Fiska, who is the president of Halfway Home Cat Rescue, a nonprofit that has taken in surrenders and strays and sending them to foster homes since 2012. She says her organization has received at least 25 calls during the last one to two months about strays. We have about 25 foster homes, so we're very lucky. And when we need help, we have a Facebook Messenger page where everybody is on it, and we post that we have an incoming kitty or a pregnant cat or some kittens, and we ask, you know, who wants to who wants to foster this group or this cat. There are also calls the organization gets about feral cats, which are wild community cats that are unadoptable. Fiska urges people to take action should they see a random cat roaming around the neighborhood. I think no matter what kind of stray cat you see or when you see it or where you see it, there's always a concern that that cat might need help. If you need to report a stray cat or if you'd like to adopt one, visit our website at westernmassnews.com or our app and click on the As Seen on TV button. In Chicopee, Matt Price, Western Mass News.